We often think of tourism as a high-touch industry, full of interactions between people. But tourism is also a high-tech industry. I want you to think for a moment about your last holiday. What technologies did you use to plan your trip? How did you get to your destination? Did you share your holiday photos with friends on social media? Every single trip generates information such as itineraries, payment information, traveller information and product information. And every day millions of gigabytes of data are transferred electronically to enable the bookings, payments, marketing and communications that make travel possible. Without information technology, tourism as we know it today would not exist. Information technologies are critical to every sector of the tourism industry. The aviation sector has been the most innovative user of IT. The airline started in the 1950s with the implementation of computer reservation systems, which later became the global distribution systems we have today. Travel intermediaries, such as travel agents and tour operators, have been significantly affected by the internet and online travel agents who have disrupted the entire distribution system. In the hospitality sector, most hotels now use property management systems that process guest records and bookings, rooms, accounting, housekeeping and ordering. Other sectors, such as attractions, entertainment, casinos and conventions, all have specialised IT systems for managing ticketing and security. Entire destinations have developed destination management systems to link together different sectors in the destination to support their marketing and management strategies. Even the travellers themselves also benefit from IT developments. In particular, the internet, social media and mobile devices provide access to information about destinations, travel organisations and experiences. The rapid growth and adoption of technology can all be a bit overwhelming, as Professor Caroline Scales explains. Well, if we start thinking back to the very early days of when technology first appeared, you know, when we think about things like the emergence of mass travel and the development of air technologies in aviation, and how that is now influencing, say for example, the hypermobile traveller that we see today, what the main thing is that has changed is that yes, we've had technological advancements over time, but it's the concentration of those changes in recent years, and certainly within the last decade or so, that has really sped up the change that we're seeing. So for example, we now have mobile technologies, we've got mobile applications, we've got smart technologies, we've got virtual realities, we've got augmented realities, we've got handheld devices, we've got larger devices, and we're seeing technology integrated really into everything that we do. It is clear that technology is not only used behind the scenes, it also plays an increasingly visible role in the creation of tourist experiences. Here at the University of Queensland, we've identified 10 major roles for the use of technology in tourist experiences. Technology can be described as an enabler of tourist experiences. Innovations such as driverless cars stimulate travel by providing the inspiration, time and economic means for people to travel. Technology can also be seen as a creator of tourism experiences because it provides new settings for tourism activities. Good examples include the use of technology in theme park rides and attractions. Technology is also described as an attractor when the technology itself becomes the focal point of the tourist experience. Space centres and industrial attractions are good examples. And technology can be an enhancer of experiences by providing a more comfortable setting, preventing tourists from getting lost and facilitating access to information. A good example of this role is the use of GPS navigation. Technology can also be viewed as a protector. Security systems and environmental management systems protect travellers and the resources that attract them. And technology is an educator because it helps provide information about the objects, people and places we visit. The use of virtual guides, mobile apps and holograms in museums are examples. Technology can provide visitors with substitute experiences in tourism settings where the resource is threatened, congested or not accessible. Examples here include live camera feeds, simulations, augmented reality and 360 degree virtual reality. Technology can play an important role behind the scenes as a facilitator of travel experiences. Back office systems, the internet and social media are all important tools for the tourism industry. But for tourists, technology can help serve as a reminder of holiday experiences, 
cameras, social media and mobile phones support the recording, reflection and sharing of these experiences. And finally, it's important to remember that technology can also be a destroyer of tourist experiences by impacting the social, environmental and economic well-being of travellers and employees. Selfie sticks might cause minor irritations, but major disruptions can occur when computer booking systems fail or when your reservation is lost. While these roles and examples illustrate the opportunities presented by the use of technology, they also raise a number of challenges for tourism organisations. The first challenge is resourcing. Many of these technologies are complex, time-consuming and costly to implement. Technologies can also date very quickly, so organisations need to have enough resources for an initial capital investment as well as an ongoing budget for maintenance. A third challenge relates to expertise. Sometimes small tourism organisations don't have access to the expertise to implement technology successfully. A final challenge is that technology may not always be appropriate. There are many tourism settings where visitors or even employees might see technology as detrimental to the overall experience. To avoid some of these challenges, tourism organisations need to be strategic in their use of technology. There are four key steps in the strategic adoption of technology. The process involves first scanning the environment to identify emerging or enabling technologies that may benefit the organisation. The second step then involves matching those technologies to strategic goals such as serving customers better, reducing costs or enhancing data management. The third step is about implementing the new technology in a way that ensures any benefits are realised. It's important to make sure that experts are employed to help with implementation and to test the technology with end users. And finally, the technology must be evaluated by all users to monitor its effectiveness. But how can tourism organisations go high tech without losing the high touch? Let's take a look at an example of Next Hotel here in our home city of Brisbane. Everything about this hotel, from its design, furnishings, amenities, and unique guest features is underpinned by a seamless partnership between excellence in customer service and new world technology. The technology is not designed to replace uh, customer service. It's designed to, to make some of the more tedious parts of staying in a hotel uh, easy and, and seamless. Uh, we use the technology at the front desk to check people in. Our staff come out from behind their, their desk, if you like, uh, and, and approach customers where they are as they enter the lobby uh, to take care of those formalities that are associated with staying in a hotel. Uh, we use our app to, to perform a pre-check-in function so that people can actually check in before they arrive at the hotel and, um, and, and in some cases can, can go straight to their rooms without even passing the front desk. And again, this is not designed to replace the customer service. It's designed to meet the needs of the particular guest. Guests respond really really well to technology. Those who are really familiar and quite techy themselves take it completely, you know, they'll self-check in, they'll download the app on their own personal mobile and use it throughout their whole stay. Um, really kind of, they're very much more self-sufficient than the traditional traveller we find. Those who may not be so familiar with technology are more curious. So they'll grab the phone in the room and they'll order their room dining. They'll have a chat with us through the phone themselves. Um, but either way, people are always kind of using it as well and they're starting to rely on it more. Instead of picking up the phone to order their car, they'll just use the app to message us instead. We have seen how tourism is both a high tech and a high touch industry. Technology can be a valuable tool for enriching the tourist experience, but it's constantly changing. The key challenge for tourism is to continue to find innovative ways to blend the personal touch with technology.